I guess I was feeling like I needed two of these. Oh, Barbara. And I didn't even try this. See, this is the thing. You were supposed to try it. If you didn't like it, you bring them back. But now you're stuck with two. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So this haul that I'm filming today is actually stuff that I have been holding on to since the end of 2022. So this is not new stuff that I purchased. I said I was going to do better with my spending and I have. Very proud of myself, but I have this and then I have more stuff sitting over here that I just, I really have not been filming that much. And the content you've been seeing is other stuff that I needed to edit. I batch film and then I don't feel like editing. So tis the life of a YouTuber. But I was ready to show you guys what I had in this box. So I'm not going to keep you waiting too long. If this is your first video, I hope you decide to join the family. Hit that subscribe button and let's get into this haul. So I think everything in this box is from Ulta, I'm pretty sure. And there's some skincare. Of course, there's some makeup. And there's some nails. So we got, I don't think there's hair stuff. I don't know. But we got a good little mix of beauty stuff. So I'm just going to jump right in and I'm just going to pull straight out the box. This is in no order, not organized. We're going to start off with this because you know Ulta always gives you really good perks whenever you make big purchases. There's a lot of stuff in here. So I'm going to go through it quick. Um, this was a gift with purchase. You got some Derma E, some Tula Skin Care. Mad Hippie Skin Care, Maybelline, Lash Sensational, Very Black Mini uh, Mascara. Yes, Mascara. What is this? La Roche Posay, Intense Repair Moisturizing Cream. Oh, it says it's good for eczema. This is Shampoo and Conditioner, Sunscreen, Clinique, Blonde Shampoo. Yo, there's so much stuff in here. Laura Mercier, her tinted moisturizer blushes, which I've never tried. I love getting stuff like this so you can try new stuff. This is the Derma Blend Insta Grip Jelly Primer. Didn't know they had a jelly primer. Living Proof Mask for Hair. What is this? Soap and Glory Body Butter. Oh, nice. NYX. Plump It Right Back Plumping Serum. I've been wanting to try this, so happy I have that. Ralph Lauren Ralph's Club. Kelowna Perfume, I don't know. Uh, oh, Lake and Sky 1111. I actually bought the full size of this. I really, really like it. It's a clean scent. Um, yeah, sheer, clean, and uplifting. Clean scent. Um, what else we got here? Redken Deep Clean Dry Shampoo. Nice size. Mega Babe Space Bar. Detoxifying Charcoal Underarm Bar. Definitely will use that. What is this? Sunday Riley CEO Afterglow Cream Illuminator. Never even heard of this. Clinique Black Honey. Is this a, oh yeah, a little lip, lipstick, lip balm. I don't know which of the two this is, but um, what else we got? Ulta Beauty, what is this? Lipstick and Mischievous, a little sample size. There's still stuff in here. Bad Gal Bang, Victor and Rolf. Yeah, Flower Bomb Nectar. I think I actually like this one. I don't like the regular one. Gucci Guilty, that's for women. Estee Lauder, uh, Peach Slices Acne Oil-Free Moisturizer. Oh, what is this? Makeup remover wipe and first aid beauty facial radiance pads, which I actually put these in my travel bag when I have them. So all of this stuff was just a gift with purchase. We haven't even gotten into the actual stuff that I bought yet. So if y'all ever hear me talk about why I love Ulta so much and why I tend to shop there over Sephora, this is why. Okay, so up next, oh, Another gift with purchase. So this might be <laughs> this might be two orders in one box. 
Ooh, this is going to be long. Grab your snack. Pause and grab your snack if you haven't done it yet. So this is just a bunch of sample packs, y'all. I'm not going to go through all this. This video is going to be way too long. Hmm. It Cosmetics. I wish they would make more shades. They expanded, but still not enough. So another little sample pack of stuff. All right. This I actually did order. This is the Hollywood Fashion Secrets Fashion Tape. This is to use... If you have something low cut and you want it to stay, you put it on the inside of the collar and then it sticks to you and you can tape it and it'll stay. Um, this is supposed to be like all waterproof and helps repair your hems. I don't sew, so I would appreciate that. Um, do not wear for more than eight hours. That's good to know. So yeah, different uses, but I bought this mainly to keep stuff from opening up. And yeah, that's what this is for. Next, we have the Peach and Lily Body KP Bump Boss Microderm Body Scrub. So I wanted to try this because I have the KP, is it Derma, Derma Doc? What is the name? Y'all know what I'm talking about. The KP, I'll put a picture because I have it upstairs. But that one is really popular for if you have the little bumps on the back of your arms. Mine are on the back of my legs. And so this was all this stuff was on sale. I'm going to put that disclaimer out there right now. It was all on sale. But so I decided just to try another one because I go and get laser hair removal done, which kind of helps, but it's still not 100%. And she asked me if I sit a lot, which I do because I have a desk job. And she said that scrubbing with some kind of exfoliant would help. So that is why I got this one. This says 10% AHA, PHA, and micro exfoliants which I think is the same as Derma Doctor. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. It's the same as that. Next, I bought some nail tips. So my nails are not done right now. Got to squat in the morning. Too much, too much, too much with my sleeves and my wraps. But these are basically just clear nail, clear nails that you put on with, um, like the UV light, so you use the UV glue, gel, whatever poly stuff it is, and then you put this on on top and you cure it under the UV light. I have been loving doing stuff with my UV light and stuff that's more long wearing than just painting my nails because that doesn't work. And so yeah, I decided to get these just because I want to use these to dip my nails and also to use for my nail strips. This is the other part of what I was talking about with that. Actually, I guess I can talk about these together. So this is the red carpet brand. I don't think that was this red carpet. Yeah. So all of this is red carpet. That's the name of the brand. So step one is the primer for the nail. So you put this actually on the back of the nail, I think. Apply one coat to the underside of the nail and then one to your nails. And then this is the adhesive. So it says apply this after the primer and then apply to the nail tip. And if you wanna just flash cure it to kinda of let it set a little bit, but then you still need to adjust it five seconds, or if you want it to stay, like you know that's where you want it, you want it to stay 30 seconds, and then your nail is on. This also works better than glue because you don't get the air bubbles. Love that. I picked up some more of my favorite press-on nails. These are the ones with the glue tabs on the back, so you do not have to wear glue. I like these because they don't damage my nails. I'm really bad for just pulling them off. I don't soak them. So that's why I love these even more. But these are all from, is this Kiss? Yes, Kiss. This is the Impress Press-Ons. So this is a short pair. And I thought these are really cute because of the colors. I think this was a limited edition collab with somebody. I'm not sure. But this is kind of sparkly. Then this is pink. And then this is a multicolor. I got one of these. This next set is called Indigo Autumn. Oh, the first one was Happy Pride. This Indigo Autumn one, though, oh my God. I have two boxes of these, if not more. I might have picked up some of these before and got some more. Look at how cute that is. This top is like a marble, and this is a solid, and this is glitter. Like, absolutely gorgeous. So I got two of those. And then this green one, I thought I had, I might be mixing up 
my boxes. I don't know. <laughs> this is also supposed to be in a short length. This one is in set in stone. It's a green and I don't think the color is going to pick up well. Kind of can see it. This is like a iridescent multi-chrome foil kind of situation. And then this is just your shiny dark, dark green. And then this is like gold and black and like a marble. So I don't know. I just thought it was different. And this is really, really cute for winter. So these are probably going to go on after I work out tomorrow. This next pair is a re-up. I think I have one or two boxes of these. And then I just, I love this color. This is also the, this is the medium coffin length in climb up. This is one of my favorites of all time. I love purple. This is a really light lavender. And then this is a white and lavender and silver kind of marble. And then the silver accents. So one of my favorite pairs to wear. I don't necessarily like wearing just all white with no design. So I like that this kind of goes in trend with that, but not 100%. These next ones will be cut. <laughs> I'll probably make it a day, maybe two before I cut them. These are glue-ons and I might use my gel and cure it. Um, this is in, I don't see a name for the color of this. It just says VF25X, but it's blue. Y'all know I have been loving me some blue. So it's just different patterns, but really cute. I'm sure somebody really talented could paint that, but that is not me. So I just thought this was cute, decided to pick it up. And then this last one, these are gel strips, but they're semi-cured. So they come out, it's kind of hard to explain, but they come out looking like, these are by Dash and Diva? Yeah, Dash and Diva. Um, but this is like a tortoise kind of pattern, and I just thought it was cute. I don't have any other ones like this. It says that it's semi-cured. I want to see what this looks like. But basically, you put it on to fit your nail, and then, oh, it says applies like a strip. And then it cures hard like a nail. That's what it is. So this is what they look like. So super cute. And then you have this accent here on the back. And then you also have these right here, which have the tortoise and the gold. So super, super cute. I don't normally do neutral shades like that, but I still feel like this kind of gives me a little glam and pizzazz with it without it just being like a basic brown or tan or something like that. This palette, kind of an impulse, but it might be the only one in here, I think. This is the ColourPop On The List eyeshadow palette. I think this was half off or something like that. And I wanted it because it looked like it had a duochrome in it. Is it a duochrome or did I get played? <laughs> I don't know. This is what she looks like though. It's a cute color story. It kind of reminds me, but not as bold, not as vibrant as um, Raw Beauty Christie's At Forest Sight. I still want that palette. I don't care. I know I don't need it, but I still want it. Um, yeah, this shade right here is supposed to be, you can kind of see it shifting. Well, I ain't swatching. I don't think I have anything else to swatch. So, oh, this is kind of one of those shades that is barely gonna show up. But yeah, you can kind of see the shifties in it. So that's what got me to pick this one up. But you see how light that is? It's cute though, she's shifting. Okay, ColourPop, I ain't mad at you. That is literally the reason why I wanted to get this palette. I like the other colors too, but I really just wanted to see what was up with that. So yeah, first palette. Oh, did I count this? I posted my palettes that I bought in... 2022 and I don't know if I've counted this well it should have been so add one or not if it was <laughs> if it was already in there up next we have a pair of lashes these are the lily lashes in Miami light these do not look light <laughs> but I feel like I have finally figured out how to put my lashes on so I've been venturing out and trying to get bigger ones yeah, I feel like I'm going to be able to put these on really easy in my head. That's what I think. 
Next is a skincare item. This is the Mega Shade Sunscreen Serum. It is SPF 50 and it is for sensitive acne prone skin. It says breakout, breakout proof sun care made dewy. So it's a radiant boosting. I hope this isn't radiant boosting like it's going to make you look gray and ashy because I have one upstairs that kind of does that and I don't love it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is by the brand Zit Sticker. I love their little um, acne dots, the little patches that you put. So I think their brand was on sale and so I just decided to try something else. Next, I bought the Tula Skin Care So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. At the time when I bought this, I was having issues with my pores being clogged in this area and a little bit in this area. And so I hadn't been using a scrub really for a while and I'm sure I have one, but whatever. <laughs> I decided to pick this up too. Next, I have the Too Faced Pomade in a Pencil. This is their Brow Shaper and Filler. This is in the shade Espresso. Anytime I can get brow products on sale, I'm going to pick them up because I literally do my brows every single day. And I thought this was cool because it said pomade in a pencil. So, okay, so this is interesting. It's not quite that triangle tip, but it's not small like the little micro fine tips either. But it's still kind of the tip that I like. So... What's on the other side? Okay, and then the other side is your spoolie. I'm gonna take this out to try for tomorrow because it says that it's waterproof and definitely need that when I'm in the gym. Next, I picked up an e.l.f. putty bronzer brush. Did I need another brush specifically for that? No, but I do like how small these are. If I can figure out how to open it, I can show you. It is angled. So it's kind of chiseled a little bit. So I feel like it would fit perfect in the hollow here with the putty blush. I mean the putty bronzer. So yeah, I could see it. Up next, I have the Kopari California Glow Enzyme Scrub. So another scrub. <laughs> I'm the type where if I feel like I have a problem with something, I'm not gonna buy just one thing and try it. I'm gonna buy like two or three different brands of the same thing to try. Mainly because one, if one of them doesn't work out, then I have something else. But two, just because I also have a really bad habit of putting a lot of new products on my face and then if I break out, I have no idea what did it. <laughs> so I need to do better with that. But yeah, another scrub for me to try again for my face. This I was pretty excited about. This is the Mega Babe, the smoothie, smoothie Deo. So a smoothing deodorant. Fruit enzyme daily deodorant with bilberry, lemon, and orange. I picked this one up because it says that it is supposed to help with lightening your underarms. So if you have darker skin, hyperpigmentation this is supposed to help that because of the vitamins in it but I'm not sure it's a natural deodorant I have the Kapari natural deodorant I will wear that one on days when I'm just like I'm not really going to be moving around too much because those are not meant for when you are like in the gym or going to be sweating a lot because they don't last very long and I'm sorry but I don't want to smell I'm just not that girl that thinks having natural deodorant is more important than walking around smelling fresh. So I'm going to try this, but it's going to be on days when I'm just kind of keeping it casual. I'm not try <laughs> trying this out when I need something to work. Next, I picked up the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Healing Oil. I have this upstairs and I'm almost out of it. So I bought this to replace the one that I have. Absolutely love this. It's a staple. When I wash my hair, I put it on my ends when my hair is wet. Doesn't make it heavy, anything like that. So had to have a backup of this. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> okay, I'm confusing things. I think that other deodorant was supposed to do what I said, but this is the one that's really supposed to do what I said. So this is the Truly Unicorn Fruit Brightening and Smoothing Aluminum Free Deodorant. 
This is another one that says it's vegan clean, but it also says it's high performing. It says nothing else on the back to tell anything about it. But yeah, this is the one that I was talking about that's supposed to help lighten. So this is coming upstairs ASAP. I just slipped this in here, but this is actually from Sephora, I believe. Has to be, because I don't think this is at Ulta. I think I went to Sephora randomly, one of the JCPenney ones that was closing and they had everything like 50% off. This is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. That's it. It was on sale and I'm a, I'm a sucker for sales. So I was like, ooh, expensive hair care on sale, get it. Next, I have two items from the same brand. This is the Patchology Flash Patch. These are eye gels. So one is the Flash Patch. No, they're both Flash Patch. Okay, well, this one says Rejuvenating Eye Gels, and that is it. This one has caffeine, hydrolyzed collagen, and hyaluronic acid. And then this one is the Restoring Night Eye Gels. So this one has retinol, peptides, and arnica extract. So the day one helps with puffiness, fatigue, and dryness. So you use this anytime you need a perk me up. And then the night one says the overnight bright. So you put it on for five minutes and you're supposed to use it at night because it has retinol in it. So eye patches, I've been loving these, especially if I'm doing like a super glam makeup look or if I feel like I have puffiness or something like that, I'll put these on. They're kind of cooling serum. I just feel like it's an extra kind of splurge skincare spa day step if I want to be a little bougie. We have another pair of lashes. This is the Lily Lashes in Chrysan, C-H-R-Y-S-A-N. Ooh, these look a little big. Normally, I would not even think about getting something like this because like I said, I was having trouble putting them on. But what I realized I was doing wrong is I just don't let the glue get tacky enough before I put it on. And the Sephora House of Lashes, the collaboration, like that lash glue has been working for me. So if I can get these on, I'm gonna be so excited. Cause I, I don't know, I used to talk about, I still can't do the super ignorant like, <laughs> I heard somebody else say them ignorant lashes and I was like, yes, I know exactly what you mean. I can't do those. I don't, not that I can't, I don't want to. I don't like that. But these are getting pretty close to like super lash for me. Oh, we do have some hair care. So this is the Kenra Platinum besides the Briogeo. Um, rapid hydration mask in rich. So this is for medium to coarse, not me. See, I need to read. Uh, this is a hair mask and it's supposed to be very moisturizing, but it says it's for medium to coarse hair. And I have been told several times that my hair is really fine. I just have a lot of it. So this is probably gonna weigh my hair down. But we're gonna use it anyway, because I feel like sometimes my hair is very dry and brittle, especially when I'm getting ready for a meet. If I'm stressed out, hormones are tripping, my hair will get brittle and then I also up my protein so if I have too much protein stringy hair brittle doesn't move like right now it's good I did a moisturizing mask I'm happy about that but yeah it's very temperamental depending on what's going on in my life so we'll put that mask in there somewhere we have another pair of lashes okay I guess there's Sephora stuff in here because this says well I don't know no I guess not because Ulta has House of Lashes, right? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, these are the Iconic Lights. I think these will be very easy for me to put on and to wear, so pick these up. This is how old this is. So I'm pretty sure <laughs> when I ordered this, these had just come out. Ooh, she's dark. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Bronzer, and I got mine in Paradise City. Let's take her out and look, y'all. I did what I said I was gonna stop doing and just bought this and let it sit. She's dark. She's pretty dark. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch her since we don't have a lot of, oh, um, maybe not. No, it might be okay. Yeah, that'll be all right. But it is the Super Shock formula, so you can see it's that putty. I just put a dent in it. 
but I'm gonna bring this upstairs too because I want to try it soon. This okay, I forgot I bought this. I forgot I, I was I knew I bought it, but then I just yeah. Anyway, this is the Voce Viva Intense Valentino perfume. I smelled the original and I was in love with it. I think I have a sample of it somewhere. Yes, I had a sample of it, a little bitty one. And then I saw that this was on sale and it was the intense. So I had to have it. Like, yes, I will say had. And I love this box. This, this packaging is so sexy. It kind of reminds me, yeah. I think it's just because it's square in the gold top. It reminds me of my Baccarat Rouge 540. But let me read the notes to what this is real quick in case you're interested or you have the same taste as me. So this is a warm floral, which is usually what I gravitate towards. Key notes are bergamot, jasmine absolute, vanilla bourbon ex extract. I have not worn this. Oh, this smells so good. Yes, okay, she needs to come out. I'm taking her out the box right now in a minute. And yeah, I need to put her where I can see her so I can wear her because yeah, completely forgot it was in this box. Another sample, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm not even gonna open this because I'm sure I have this somewhere so I can save this for a giveaway. What is this? This is the Too Faced Brow Wig Brush On Fluffy Brow Gel. I got this in the shade dark brown. I don't know what's different. This might not be smart. Ooh, it looks like it has hairs. Okay, I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to, let's see. If y'all can see how this looks like it has hairs. I think you can. That is interesting. I don't wanna put it in the front of my brows if it has a lot of color, I'm a little nervous. Oh, not too bad. Hmm. So is it depositing hairs? What is happening? I don't want to mess up my brows, but I don't know what is going on here. What does it say? Fake the full fluffy filled in look. Brush on brow extensions. Yes, it says it has buildable hair fiber gel formula. Our advanced fine hair fibers grab onto both skin and hair to fill in, fill in gaps, add density and lushness. Wow, okay, not mad at it. I wonder if this is like Gimme Brow. Kind of the same thing from Benefit maybe? I don't know. Wind it down guys. Okay, next we have the Barefoot Scientist Inner Strength Nail and Cuticle Renewal Drops. So this is to strengthen and smooth to help reverse daily nail damage and improve nail health. I got this because like I said, I've been tearing up my nails, ripping off my fake ones. So is this like a nail oil? Yeah, I guess. It's kind of like a cuticle oil or whatever. So hopefully it works. Next, I have the Minted Bear lip pencil i guess that's the color bear this might be too light because i look i have the one that's dark oh i have two other ones oh maybe this is the one i have already yeah i think i bought a, this is a backup because i think i keep this one in my purse this is what she looks like definitely not too light yeah, I think I just <laughs> I think I just bought a backup i also got another juvia's place lip liner this is in the shade cola I don't know if my favorites is up yet or not. I hope it is, but this was in my favorites. One of my all-time favorite liners, Cola and Kiwi, I believe is the other one. But Juvia's Place liners in general, long wearing, not dry, and they are retractable. So yes, yes, yes. This, okay. I'm trying to decide if I even wanna open this right now. So Ulta came out with a tubing mascara. And somebody told me to grab it, said it was supposed to be really good, so I did. This is the Lash Flash Warm Water Wash Off Mascara. It's still wrapped, so I haven't tried it yet, but I will keep y'all posted because you know I've been on the hunt for a replacement or something that's easier to get than the Thrive Cosmetics Lash Mascara. 
because I absolutely love that one. It's tubing mascara. I have it on right now. Anytime I don't want to wear falsies or I really want to make my lashes pop, that is what I wear. So I don't know how good this is going to be, but I'm going to give it a shot. Up next, this is a very random, <laughs> I have no idea why, but it's the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush in Marigold. I love the shade of this. It is a coral, kind of orange, kind of peachy. It is very vibrant, but like, do I need another blush? No. I've never even tried this brand blushes like this line. So I don't know, I guess we'll swatch. Ooh, that is pretty bright. That is very vibrant. I was not expecting that. I have to go in with a light hand with her, but color is very true to what you see in the pan. So, hmm. Spring can't get here fast enough. I'm tired of this cold weather, but I might slip her on <laughs> even now because I wear what I want when I want. Okay, I was looking for this because I knew I bought it and I wanted to wear it and I couldn't find it. This is why. This is the Revolution IRL filter, which I think is in real life. Um, this is the long wear foundation. I got mine in F14. Pretty sure this is gonna be too dark because story of my life. Love that it comes with a pump. Go ahead, drugstore. And let's see. Ooh wee, that is super dark. Damn it, man, because I can't bring this back. Wow. Oh, Barbara. I'm going to try anyway tomorrow. <laughs> but I doubt it because I'm sure I don't even know how long that's been sitting. So I don't know. I'll have to try to figure out if I'm going to mix it with something, but definitely cannot wear that by itself. Even if I was tan, I don't ever get that dark. Next, I got the Nabla Skin Glazing. It's their Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder. It's a highlighter in the shade Amnesia. Y'all, when these first came out, everybody was hyping them up about how good they were, and they always were out of stock. And so I was able to get this. It was on sale, and I was just, it's the FOMO. FOMO can last for however long I have the patience to wait for it to go on sale, unless it's limited edition, then that's different. But let's go ahead and see. Let's go right here. Ooh, that is pretty. That looks very blinding, because I did not... Oh, okay, you can tone it down a little bit. <laughs> That's still blinding though. But I like the shade of that, so at least that one worked out. Next, I picked up the Tarte Shape Tape Cloud Coverage. I guess this is their skin tint, medium buildable coverage, natural finish that looks like skin. This was on sale, I think 50% off or something like that. And I haven't tried a Tarte foundation in a minute, so. I was curious, and I think I did swatch this one. Why did I not swatch the other one? Um, let's go ahead, and I'll show you what this looks like. See, <laughs> now my first mind looks at that, and I'm like, mm -mm, that's too light. Where are you going? But So that is what she looks like right there. I'm going to let it dry down, but that looks really light. Oh, I don't want to get it on my necklace. We're not doing this today. I don't know. It might dry down and oxidize a little bit. So we'll see. I'll leave it on my hand. Next, I picked up the It Cosmetics Hello Results Wrinkle Reducing Daily Retinol Serum in Cream. I don't know why. <laughs> it just... Mm. Like I said, I know all this stuff was on sale. I don't remember how much, but I have... Yeah, I, I don't know. I just want to try it. Next is the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. Y'all, I guess I was, <laughs> I must have been really going through it when I bought this stuff. Because like right now, I mean, I still have a little bit of texture, tiny little bit, but not enough to buy all this stuff. So I don't know. I've never tried these. I felt like these kind of reminded me when I read the description of the Peter Thomas Roth. I used to buy those exfoliating pads a lot. And then also the First Aid Beauty one. So just to try a different brand. 
All right, we are getting to the end. So the next, no, a freaking sleeve. This is why I don't wear light colors. I'm sure I have makeup all over this. Um, two more nail products, and these are again to help strengthen and all that good stuff. This is London Town, brand I hadn't heard of. This is their Get Well Nail Recovery, so it's just a clear top coat, base coat, whatever. And then this is their Illuminating Nail Concealer, which says it's an instant brightener for dull, discolored nails. I don't have discolored nails, but my nails are very thin and sometimes they split. So I was hoping that this would kind of help just make them look prettier when I don't have anything on my nails. Another brow pomade in a pencil from Too Faced. So I guess I was feeling like I needed two of them. I guess I was feeling like I needed two of these. Oh, Barbara. And I didn't even try this. See, this is the thing. You're supposed to try it. If you didn't like it, you bring them back. But now you're stuck with two. This is the Tarte Tubing Mascara. I haven't heard anybody talk about this. I don't even remember people talking about it when it first came out. So I don't know if it's good or not, but we will find out. This is the Ulta Beauty Brow Lift Laminating Gel. So... I've never done any kind of lamination with my brows. My brows are pretty, like they do what I want them to do. I don't really feel like I have issues with them, but I would like to try the laminated look just to see how it looks on me. So I went the cheap route and bought the Ulta brand. I don't know how, this is probably just a brow gel to be honest. I'm gonna have to look it up and see if there's some kind of special instructions for how to use it, but I'm pretty sure it's just a brow gel. Minted Bear. Minted Night, Minted Night. So I knew I had one night. So Bear and Night, I have two of each. I have another Juvia's Place liner. This is their Lux liner in So Rare. I'm gonna open this cause she looks a little light. I do sometimes prefer a lighter one that is not so brown so that if I just wanna put something to outline my lips and then put a gloss, Oh, that looks way darker. Okay, see, this is what gets me. So this is the top that tells you what color it is. That looks like a muted neutral red. But then you look at the tip of this. Look at how dark that is. Okay, uh, it's not as dark since it's the thicker one here. It's still dark. It looks way darker than what this top says it's going to be. That is very cool tone too. Interesting. Um, and then we also have this Juvia's Place Brownie Liner. Is this the same thing? No. No, this is just in brownie. So apparently Juvia's Place was having a sale and I decided to buy a bunch of liners. And I'm pretty sure I have this one already, but this is like a straight, ooh, she looks dark. Ooh, that's pretty though. It's like a brownish kind of chocolate red. It's a very deep, deep shade, but I feel like when I blend it out, it's gonna look more warm and red than that other one I swatched. So, all right, we are stocked up on lip liners. I picked up a shampoo and conditioner. These were on sale, buy one, get one free, I think, pretty sure, or buy one, get one half, I don't know. Shea Moisture, low porosity, weightless, hydrating shampoo and conditioner. So, I started feeling like my hair was not taking my products the way it should. And so I was trying to figure out if my hair was low porosity or high porosity. My hairdresser said mine is low to normal. So low porosity is like, if you put your hair underwater, it doesn't automatically get soaked and drenched. Like it's hard for your hair to absorb, absorb moisture. So this is supposed to be weightless so that it's not going to be too thick for your hair to be able to absorb it and it also won't weigh it down who knows but yeah this also yeah it says for moisture resistant curly coily hair i don't have curly or coily hair i mean i would if i stopped relaxing it but so we'll see how that works with my hair being relaxed the last two products are more gifts with purchase. Love you, Ulta. Thank you. This is the Volition Turmeric Brightening Polish. And I don't know what this other thing is. There's three things in this little bag right here. 
apple cider vinegar resurfacing peel pads and glow awakening moisturizer so this little gift bag and then this big mama jamma right here another one and i see some nars speaking of the good stuff real quick we have a winky lux matte setting powder translucent so a little bitty like that monsieur big mascara i love giving these in my giveaways because i have the big size already a nars blush in orgasm x i don't know what the difference is between orgasm and orgasm x this is tea tiny super cute and that is what she looks like this almost kind of looks like that blush i had earlier but that's a lot darker then we have some grande primer grande cosmetics this is a mascara primer i never use these but. um and then i have pure four in one correcting primer we have a nyx butter gloss in creme brulee and then we also have jane iridell beyond lash volumizing mascara little sample and an urban decay glide on pencil in zero this is black and then last but not least i'm going to throw these in here because i want to show them real quick and then i want to be able to put them up so i bought some jewelry from a company that i saw on instagram called story time jewelry i think is the name of it i don't see the name on the box but what got me there was one ring in particular and it says 2023 begin again same girl same name new mindset new game so this little card comes in it but i am a lotus flower lover um basically lotus flowers grow from the mud so regardless of where you came from something can always grow out of any bad situation so it always just reminds me that you're never stuck i have a lotus tattoo but i saw this and i just thought it was so pretty it's a lotus flower and it kind of has like a smoke looking stone on the inside it's not diamond or anything but i just felt like it was really cute and really really pretty so yeah i grabbed that and then i got sucked into the website <laughs> So I grabbed a few more pieces. I also grabbed, this one says, to my daughter, this ring stands for the highs and lows in life. Wear it as a reminder that you that I will be there for you through them all. This one is rose gold. I wanted some rose gold jewelry. Um, but this also kind of had me in my feels for a sec because my grandmother raised me, but my mom was in my life and they have both passed away. So just kind of was like oh i miss you guys so this one this one is adjustable so you can put it on whatever finger it's open in the back but super cute it's this nice little wavy pattern for the highs and the lows so thought that was nice and then the next one is this says to my love the ring that symbolizes a knot that is not quite yet but has all the intentions of being tied it's a promise ring i bought it for myself <laughs> let me see but again i just thought it was cute i like the design of it and this is all really inexpensive jewelry i literally wear my jewelry for my videos and like maybe to go out for like a second and then i put them back up in the drawer so i hope y'all can see that but they all come with these little descriptions in the boxes. So I like that. And then this last one, another to my daughter. When you wrap this ring around your finger, consider it a hug from me to you with love and, with love and kisses. And this is also another rose gold piece. And this literally wraps around. So if you can see the design there. It just looks like a coil. So that is it for this haul. I hope the video wasn't too long, but you guys seem to love my hauls. So I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Laugh at my foundations. So this is the one that I said I thought was going to be too light. That's the one from Tarte. Go figure. 
And then this is that craziness from Makeup Revolution. So clearly, if I want to really give this a fair shot, I need to get my shade or just suck it up and mix it with something else. I don't know. But yeah, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the haul, what you want to see first. If you have any of these products already, let me know your thoughts on them. If I'm going to love it, if I'm going to hate it, just let me know. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.